Bob, you're looking after Batash, you looked after him for a few years now. He looks relaxed on the gallops. Charlie says he's behaving like a little puppy. <laughs> How, what do you think? Do you think his behaviour is getting better? Yeah, he's been terrific this year. Yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah. And so he's always been pretty good at home, sort of since his two-year-old days. But um, and the twice he's run this year, he's been good as gold. So, so it's take us back to them two-year-old days. It wasn't straightforward, was it? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's why he had to have the he had to have the operation and just to calm him down a bit, shall we say? But so. since then, he's been a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. It's always been the thing that at home he's, he's, he is quite good to deal with, yeah. and then going racing, you know, because you take him racing. What is it that, that about going racing that just gets his blood up? Is this Utah, if I knew, I'd be a clever man. I mean, we've it's like when he the first time he ran at York, he really was a he was you know, as much as we could do to get, even get a saddle on him. Um, and he was a bit funny in in Paris last year, but then, um, you know, this twice when he's run this year, he's been good as gold and um. The, every time he's running Goodwood, he's been pretty good. Um, and he, he, we're coming up to Goodwood. This mm. is the race. He's, he's been brilliant in this race for the last two years, hasn't mm. he? Yep. Um, and but Goodwood's not an easy place to sort of lead up, is it for a for a groom? It's, but he's, he's never had a problem. No, well, we box him up from the stables anyway, and he's and um, I can't remember. We did it the first year. We did it. I just took him around the pre parade ring a couple of times, and then we sat. I think we sat him outside of the seat at the, um, the boxes. And last year, last year he was he was okay. So again, I think. We, I can't remember if we actually stood him in the saddle box or not, but he was, he was, he was, he was good. He was pretty good, you know. You didn't let too much bother him. So. And therefore, you see him every day. You know his well being. Are you anticipating another big performance next week? Well, I think, I, well, I'd like to say I think he'll win, but I think he, I will. I think he'll win, yeah. But we shall see on Friday week, yeah. And he, he's a horse you adore looking after, isn't he? Mm, yeah, he makes it worthwhile coming to work, yeah. Bless yeah. him, yeah. But, and you, yeah. It's not just Batash, because you also looked after his sire, Dark Angel. Yeah, yeah. Tell us a bit about that. Well, I looked after Dark Angel. We stood in that, that box there. He was there. That was whenever it was, 2007, 2006. I mean, he was only ran it too, when the middle park. And you know, What was he of, like to deal Oh, with? he was a diamond. Absolutely lovely horse, yeah. Just tell us, Bob, how long have you worked in racing now? In racing or here? In racing. Oh, well, when did I start? I started when I was 21 and I'm now 26, so it's now, <laughs> <laughs> it's now 37 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And with the Hills family? Um, started in 87. So this is my 33rd season. Yeah. And yeah. in all that time, have you looked at, you know, have you had a horse like Batash? I know you said Dark Angel, but is, is Batash the best you've looked after? Well, he probably, yeah, well, you'd have to think so on the ratings. I mean, I've done a couple of other ones, which. I've always, I, mean, I, mean, I looked after Just a Judge at when the Irish 1,000 guineas, and mm. I did a filly that won the Irish 1,000 guineas 20 years ago, or whatever, it was 25 years ago, which she only, that was more or less the only race she ever won, bless her. But, but, um, but yeah, I mean, he'd be the best boy a, boy a long way, really. Yeah.